really loud voice, but I will do my best. So I'm Stephen Lee from Funding Societies. And my talk gonna be quite light and simple. Please don't fall asleep. And if you want to download the uh, source code, you can just refer to this QR code. And let's get to the topic. So in my in my demo, I'm gonna be using Agilis Git. Uh, you can also achieve this kind of thing using collection view or table view. But it is more difficult to use table view uh, because the reason is that you, the Agilis Git, the good thing about Agilis Git is that it's data driven, meaning that you just provide the data, it's gonna automatically create the UI for you. For table view, uh, we did try to recreate Agilis Git for table view, it takes Quite long, and we just decided just to use Agile Skip. So let's see uh, some views of in our app, right? And let's focus on the left one. So uh, typically on this one, right? So it's, it's it's quite a simple view, right? So you have uh, the title and the information. So this is how we created this interface builder. And someday, someone came to me and said, hey, can we add another value in between? And I said, sure. Uh, I just need to unwind the constraint and rewind it again. Right. Well, it happens a lot. If we have a look at this again, actually we can break down the view again to a smaller view. So if you have a look at this one, it's just like this. I call it title and I have title value. So in this case, I can break this down to two different cells. The same as this one, which is like this. So we have a lot of it, right? We have break down all of the views and uh, this is just some of the catalog, but we have a bunch of them uh, to just for the developer to quickly refer to them. So let's have a look and this thing that I call it title value. And for, for IGL skit, right, you only need to focus on two classes. One is, we call it section model. Section model, you can assume it as field model. So in this case, you have the title, value, title attribute, and so on. The second one is section controller. It's, you can assume it as a field controller, right? Uh, the first part, we, this the typical setup that we have. So the first function is going to uh, tell you what is the size of the cell. And the second one is where you uh, create the UI. So meaning uh, you assign the value to the cell. And the third one is did update. Did update, you can assume it as the same as init. So you pass in the section model to the section controller. So this is just one of the example, right? So at the cell for item, you see that I assign the title value uh, and the value label and so on. And if you have a look at the size for item, right, it looks quite complex. The reason being is because it is complex. Uh, so what we do there is that we calculate the height manually instead of relying on auto layout. Uh, the reason is that because IGD skit is basically a collection view, right? So it's a scroll view. So if you scroll a lot and the uh, OS need to calculate it using auto layout, it's not so efficient. So we just create our own calculation to tell what is the height. Because Dashiro said that one of the ingredients of great application is 60 FPS. So we achieve this by doing the calculation. And this uh, the code that I need to implement in view controller. So there are two two functions that you need to focus on. Firstly, is object for list adapter. It's where you create a bunch of section controller and just pass in the array. And the second one is list adapter. It's where you return the section controller depending on what is the section model that is being used. So. So this one is gonna getting larger as the more section model that you use. 
So let's go to some demo. Uh, zoom in a bit more. Uh, is it good enough or? Could you use the presentation for the night inside? Sorry. Oh. Okay, I will remove uh, this code, which is the first function that I was talking about. And let's see how this one looks like without anything. So it's just a blank view, right? So I was talking about the title value section model. So when I create title value section model, I will just pass in the title as title, the value as value, the label attribute I will just copy paste from here, and the cell attribute I will just copy paste from here. And now putting it in the array. So now you have this title and value. So let's say I want to add another one, right? I can just copy paste this one. Click on title. Second title and second value, right? And this one is a, just a simple view, right? But what if you want to have something, you want to execute a code when you press uh, one of the field, right? So we have this is action, so I created this one. So I just assign the title as I saw the height, I put it as 50. Label attribute, I will just put it this one. So we have this actionable item. Let's have a look at this actionable item, right? So basically, it's just a wrapper of a block. The reason is we use block is that you can always use delegate, but the reason that we are not using delegate is that you need a unique value to to determine who trigger the delegate, right? So you're gonna have switch case or if else. And, and we think that it's, it's not a really good way. So I just use this one. So on this one, I will just initialize this one. And I print something. So now we have this title, right? So when I press on this one, it prints, this is my first Apple talk. And we can make this a bit more complex. So let's say I want to have, I created this one, we call it, uh, so when go to advanced, mean, meaning that, hey, when this one is click, can you push, uh, this view controller, right? And let's see when how this one looks. Okay. 
So I please go to advanced example. It's just gonna push a few controller. So this one, let's go back to this part, the second function that I was talking about, right? So if you have a look at this one, right? Uh, so the more section model that we use, the larger this function gonna be. And if I need to use it at a different view controller, I need to copy paste this large code at a lot of places. So, so I was thinking, right? Uh, why don't we? I just create a factory pattern and just create all of it. And this one happened. My Swiftlin complained. It says that hey, this one is too complex, right? Because we have a lot of if else. And I think of it that the way we use the IG list is that uh, section model and section controller are one to one relationship. So this is why I write a code. So basically I want in such a way that my section model gonna return what is section controller that is being used. So this is the code in Objective-C. This is the code in Swift. So it just feels like a code. So let's see how I implement this one, right? So I will just remove this one. can achieve the same thing with less code. Now let's go to some more difficult part. So these are a uh, few of uh, our registration UI. We have... So, so this one is just a few of the screen, right? So uh, if I'm not wrong, we have like 32 of them. But uh, don't worry when you register with us, we just gonna show you a few screens. The 32 screens uh, is just across all of the country. So let's see the requirement, right? User can quit halfway, direct users to the last page they will have, prefill all of the information they have filled in. So this is the code that you have to have when you want to collect one information. So you define the text field, you assign the value from the backend and you assign back to the backend. So this is just some of the screen that we created. So all of them are text field. And someone came to me and said, hey, I think the height is wrong. And I said, sure. Uh, I, I fixed the height. It took me a few hours to just fix one screen. And just now, it contains 56 text fields just for one view. And if you add the three lines of code, it's gonna be 168, right? And if you want to add more codes, let's say you want to have empty check or regex, it's roughly seven lines addition of code. So now you have 560 lines of code just for that view. So each text field is tied to a unique value. How do I solve them? So one way I was thinking about is that we can use dictionary and we just pass in the key. But we have been using, uh, we have moved on our from Swifty JSON to Codable. So we use unset mutable pointer. Let me show you the demo. So in my checker model, I have this uh, value reference, right? And inside this value reference, on set, I'm gonna assign back the current value to the reference. If you have a look at the view, my view model, I initialize the object user inside here, Steven and Lee. And the last name, so I just assign it over here.
And when I click a button, it's gonna do all of the checking and print some stuff. So this is the view that is being created. So we have Steven and Lee, which is the same as this one. Now when I click on the button, it's gonna say address value is empty because I have done the empty check inside my section controller. So now let's say I put something AAA. Now you gotta print Steven, Lee and AAA which is printed here. And if I want to change something, let's say I change to Peggy. Now it's written Steven, Peggy, AAA. And this one is done for the registration text field. But during registration, we also need to upload some pictures, right? And if you have a look at this one, by clicking the view, it's gonna have this one. And open gallery. When I click on this one, it's gonna change the UI image inside. So, let's have a look on the code for this one. So my, for, for this one, right, the section controllers somehow know about the parent view controller. What it means is that all of the logic, let's say presenting or push the view controller can be done inside the section controller instead of in your view controller. So your view controller doesn't know anything about this one. And if you want to have this UI, being used at different places, you can just create one line of the section model and it will just generate everything and all of the logic inside the section controller. So your few controllers doesn't need to know anything. So now for my registration, right? Registration UI, I just need one few controller and we have a few few models. You can take it to another level. So you can have your backend to provide your section, like what information you want to collect. And in return, you only need one view model and one view controller. But you can have complex logic. Thank you. Is there any questions? Does it handle dynamic type? Such as? Because in dynamic type, you can improve the font size, right? So I mean, on the phone, you can increase the font size. So does this handle dynamic type? Uh, it's, it's up to you. You can you can handle those. Uh, so so for increase uh, the label, right? Uh, so when you increase the level, of course, the height is gonna be different, right? So you need to be. Sorry, what is? So it's about the calculation. You need to calculate it correctly. So, so this is one of the samples, right? So, so I, uh, we put, uh, we just tell what is the padding, what is the width, out there, what is the uh, font size, how they, this function gonna return, return me what is the height of the cells that I want to. So it's not cell size, it's cell size. No. Okay. Uh, if you do use uh, cell sizing size, right? Uh, we, we did do that and we we found that the scroll performance is not that great because uh, iOS doesn't know what is the most efficient way to calculate the height. So, so it's, not, it's not a synchronous. It's not rendered in synchronous. Uh, it is rendered in synchronous. Sorry? It, it is rendered in So if it's a synchronous, why is there the performance? Uh, because when, when you score, right, so uh, it's gonna be rendered before it is being shown, right? But because uh, the way we create this one, we have a lot of cells, right? So all of the cells need to be calculated. So the more cells you are, you, you are showing in the one view, it's gonna uh, bottleneck the CPU. Well, the reason I'm asking is because I'm using uh, the ACMS computer, which is and the difference that they say in performance because it's 
same synchronous gifts. So I am not sure if IG this kit actually does it uh, UI cable? They, 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 they do the same way as our collection view. Okay. So yep. Just, just that uh, this, this, this function gonna provide you uh, this size for item. Uh, it, it's optional. So many you can provide your own size if you want to. Any more questions? Okay, great. You can ask him other questions.